Hey folks, it's Pierre with Pierre Andrews Photography. And today I'm gonna to show you how to transfer pictures from your digital camera to your iPad wirelessly and automatically using iFi. iFi is a standard SD card that's got a Wi-Fi chip built into the card. So you plug this into your camera, you go to your device, for me I use an iPad, and you go to the wireless or the uh, Wi-Fi settings on the iPad and you find, the you look for the iFi uh, wireless signal, much like you would an internet signal. You, uh, you connect to it with, uh, and it's encrypted, it's got a password. And once you're connected to it, you snap pictures away on your camera and all the pictures that you take automatically get sent to your iPad. For me, this is great to use uh, when I'm at photo shoots. I'll put this into my camera I'll take the pictures, and as I'm taking the pictures, the client can have my iPad in his hands and look at look at the pictures as they upload directly in real time, and he can zoom in and look and see if there's any uh, focus issues, if he's liking the lighting, and uh, we can make on the spot changes. So it's really useful for that. And it's also useful for amateur photographers or uh, family photographers or anybody who takes pictures of their family um, because um, most people like to manage their, uh, their pictures from their iPad or from their portable device. So this is is a great way to do it without having to use a cord. It's really easy. Um, the way to set it up, you go to the store, you pick up an iFi card, um, and it comes with an iFi card reader. Uh, once you purchase them, I purchased the four gigabyte uh, card and it was like $35, uh, which is the cheapest one that they make, and that's all I need for my uses. Um, you plug the card reader into your computer with the SD card into it. Uh, you install the software that's built into the card reader. Once it's installed, you set up the card. Uh, it'll give you the Wi-Fi password for the card. Once and and you'll create an iFi account. Uh, once you're done with that, you can take the card out. You put it into your digital camera like this, and then you go to your iPad, iPhone, Android, uh, Android phone, Android tablet and you install the iFi app, it's free. Uh, once you install it, you log in uh, to your account through the app. Uh, once you're logged in and you open the app, you go to your internet settings. So on my iPad, I go to settings, I go to Wi-Fi, and uh, once my camera's turned on, and so I'm gonna turn on my camera, once my camera's turned on, it'll recognize the SD card that's in there, and it'll the, the Wi-Fi signal will, will turn on, and so I'm just gonna quickly, sometimes you have to take a picture for the SD card to like turn on. Um, and you can change your settings um, on your, the computer that you install the software on. You can change like how long the uh, Wi-Fi signal stays on for because it does drain the battery of your camera. Um, you can choose a lot, uh, you can configure it pretty extensively. Um, so I go to my Wi-Fi signal. I see the iFi card there is listed, so I'll connect to it, much like you would an internet signal. You put in your password. I've already put mine in. Uh, and you get your password, again, from the software that you install, so it'll give you your password. Um, then you go, once you connect to that Wi-Fi card, you'll, you go to the iFi software, the iFi app, pardon me, and then I'm just gonna snap a couple pictures. Um, I'm gonna snap a picture of my computer. I'm gonna snap a picture of the camera. I'm gonna snap a picture of the microphone that I'm talking to. All right. Now, I'm gonna show you, it, it uploads actually very quickly. So, there you go. They just all uploaded kind of at once there. There's the camera. There's the computer. There's the mic. So. You see, they upload very quickly, and depending on the resolution that you set on your camera, if you're setting for, uh, if you shoot in RAW, the pictures won't transfer because it doesn't recognize RAW, but other than that, it'll recognize any size JPEG uh, file format. And that's it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Pierre Andrews Photography, or go to my blog at pierreandrews.com, um, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.